Today, we're gonna be doing more work, more work, more previews on plushy and plushy tame in chocolate. We are gonna be launching these very, very soon. They are now available for our Lashify X members. We did give our members early access. They got access on Tuesday. These have not dropped yet. Look how pretty they are today. We're gonna stack them because when Sahara was teasing them before we soft launched them for X members, she was saying she really liked them stacked. So I haven't done that yet. We're gonna see what that looks like. Yesterday on Instagram, we did this look. This is plushy with the curl. Plushy Tame has less curl. So we did plushies in 13 and then 16s all the way across. I think I ended up with five, five 16s all the way across. They're so pretty. You can see how much light they pick up. They really are this beautiful chocolate brown. And then today we're gonna stack, okay? So if you don't know about stacking, we're gonna do it today. If you have questions, let me know. Lashify Bev is gonna join us in the comments to help get questions answered. We are also simulcasting to YouTube and Facebook. So if you are there, say hi. Bev will be in your comments as well. If you want, want to come hang out with me on Lashify.com, I'll be able to see your comments here, okay? But first, let's get started with the control kit. I pinned it here for you if you are on the website. The control kit is how you start using the Lashify system. It comes with everything you need to, to get started to set you up for success. So let me show you what comes in the control kit. You're gonna choose either black or white for your hard case. You choose the black control kit. Your patented fuse control wand, which is your applicator tool, is going to come in bronze. If you get the white control kit, your fuse control wand is going to come in hologram. You are going to get whisper light, which is our bond, and it's gonna come in a dual sided tube, clear and black for you to try out. You're gonna get a water resistant sealer called glass, and then, you have two gossamers that are going to be in the cartridge in the in the control kit. You're gonna get a third gossamer cartridge. Okay, each of these cartridges holds 12. Each of these cartridges hold 12 gossamer lashes. So you're gonna get 36 to play with. You're gonna have a 10 millimeter set, a 12 millimeter set, and a 14 millimeter set. So you can start lash mapping and testing out different ways to apply the lashes in different lengths to fit your eyes. Okay, and then you're gonna choose either Amplify, Bold, or Curl. These are three styles you can choose from in your control kit. Amplify is super natural, and it doesn't have a lot of curl. It actually matches the curl on the plushy tames. All right, and Thin Fibers, really natural. If you want something that looks like mascara, go with the Bold Control Kit. It has slightly thicker fibers on those gossamers. Very easy to wear for every day. And then if you want something that looks like a lash lift, go with Curl. Same thin fibers as Amplify, but, but with a little bit more curl, very similar to our plushies today. Okay, so you can't go wrong. Pick a style, you're gonna love them. You're also gonna get to choose the curve on your fuse control one. This is the classic curve, fits most eye shapes. This is for medium sized eyes, maybe an almond, um, almond eye. It fits even uh, deep set eyes. If you have a smaller eye or a smaller eye profile, uh, or maybe even a monolid. We have the Petite Eye Fuse Control one, and it sits a little bit more open, all right? And that might be a better fit for you if you have any of those eye shapes or eye types. You can't really go wrong, they're both great. I like both, I'm kind of in the middle, so pick one and you're probably gonna wanna collect more. You're, you have a little magnified mirror so you can apply Lashify anywhere. And then everything comes inside this magnetic storage box. So when you lift it up, you're gonna get a set of wandums. These are silicone covers that go over the tips of the fuse control wand. You're gonna get a sample of Melt Away and Pre-Cleanse. Melt Away is one of our removers. Pre-Cleanse is our lash prep. You're gonna get a lid space finder tool and that is going to help you choose some other lengths to try out for when you're ready for more lashes. 
You're gonna get a QR code to scan that takes you to right here, lashify.com, so you can follow along with our tutorials. Hi, Debbie. Happy Thursday. You're gonna get your welcome letter from Sahara, who is the inventor, founder, CEO of Lashify. And then your control kit sits inside here. When you pop this out and then lift up the foam, you're gonna get a place for your collection of gossamers because you're gonna want more. You're gonna want more style, styles, more sizes, so you can have a lash wardrobe to choose from based on your mood, just like your, your, your regular wardrobe, right? Super fun. So it's a one-time purchase of 125. That has been knocked down from 145. For the longest time, this control kit was 145 and you only got two sets of gossamers and the choice of just the uh, classic curve. So we've upped our game with our offerings on the control kit. You're gonna get more for less. It's amazing, right? And so if you love the system, you just get more lashes, more bond la later down the line. You you just get, uh, on, with the membership, you're gonna get discounted pricing on refills and extra products. If I want a very natural lash that lifts, what should I order? Janine, try the C Curl Kit. I think that will be great for you. Super natural, 10, 12, and 14 are our most popular lengths and that's why we include that in there. So once you start putting them on after you get your kit, You'll know exactly what sizes you like. You, you'll know if you want to bump up or even add some shorter sizes. And we have that. A lot of our styles come in as little as eight millimeter. Really great for an inner corner if you want that to be super natural, that fits you know, your natural length of your lashes. And then some of our lash styles go up to 18 millime millimeter and a couple uh, go up to 22 millimeter. So if you love big lashes, <laughs> eventually, some people, I think for the most of us, we end up liking longer lashes over time. We get used to how we look with lashes on. We're like, mm, maybe I'll bump it up by a size. And then before you know it, you have this huge range that you can play with. All right, if you have more questions, let us know. Thanks, Janine, thanks for joining. All right, you guys, we're gonna stack today. So yesterday, I put these on live on Instagram. These are chocolate plushies. They haven't launched yet. We're teasing them so that you guys can get excited. People have been asking for this color in this style, and Sahara's like, let's go, let's do it. And look how pretty they are. Look how pretty they are. We're gonna stack them today. If you are a Lashify X member, you can already get them. They are in the back room access so exciting all right you guys so what do you think we should what length should we use these are this is a 13 on the inner corner these are 16s across i'm thinking we should go a little shorter with our stack so we add just volume at the base not like a tiny bit of volume like a short volume just like maybe halfway what do you guys think what do you guys think let me know in the comments i am going to prep my lashes a little bit because I've had them on since yesterday. I have cleaned them since um, having a sleep and getting makeup on, but I wanna make sure I've had makeup on all day. I do wanna prep a little bit to make sure that I'm, I'm prepping well to apply my bond. Just in the same way we prep with uh, a normal application with bare lashes. So I'm gonna take pre-cleanse. Again, this is, a sample is included in your control kit. I'm gonna take out a little bit of the excess and I'm just going to run this through at the base to make sure there's no oil or makeup sitting along the base where I'm going to apply bond. Just coming in, I don't want the, the pre-cleanse to get in my eye, I just wanna come in and clean that base off so that my bond is going to work really well, right? Coming in to the other side, so easy. Just a nice, easy swipe all the way across and then that needs to be dry. Black and Truffle are also available now in Plushy and Plushy Tame. Makes that X membership really attractive. Yeah, great point, Bev. Um, and Bev just pinned the plushy gossamers there for you that are already available, so you can check them out. Um, it will be the same lash. This will be the same lash. We're just showing you the chocolate color, and then if you click on this link here, it'll take you to plushy where you can see the black ones and the truffle. Truffle is a beautiful mix of black and brown fibers. I love truffle anything. Thank you, Bev. Okay, so 
This is the Japanese cleansing water pre-cleanse. This is how you prep your lashes. You want to make sure that you're cleaning, making sure that there's not, no oil. Oil will break up your bond. No oil from your skin or skincare products. Uh, no mascara, no micellar water. Um, makeup on your lash before you start. So, and I'm doing the same thing even with my Lashify on already. Now, let's go ahead and dry this down. This is a nice extra tool. It's called the Blow. It's a nice extra tool. So once you start getting used to your application process and you really want to move, this will help dry things down from your prep step through your bonding. All right. Coming in. You guys, what sizes should we use? Maybe I should hold some up. Yeah. Let's grab, let's grab like a 13. These are 16. Let's try halfway and see what that looks like. And this is kind of fun lash mapping because we can kind of just hold things up and see what they might look like. Let's see. It's hard to see. Let's see if I can grab that on the outer. 13s? Maybe 13s are the, are the key. Let's try it. Let's try it. I just want to add like, I don't want to add volume like higher, right? Like lengthwise. I want a little bit of volume at the base. Let's see what a 14 is like. P14. I know it's just a millimeter, but it can make a difference. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe we'll do 13s and 14s. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm excited. Can you tell? <laughs> so this is one way to kind of check things out. And then you'll see when we're working with this bond, it's a nice flexible bond. It'll give you a really nice long working time. So you can put things on, check them out. And if you don't like it, you can take it off, try something else, right? Even if your placement isn't perfect, you want to adjust it. You can easily do that. So let's go. This is whisper light. This comes in your control kit. It comes in black with a micro mascara applicator on one side. And then it comes in clear with that pointy precision tip on the other side. There's no difference between these bonds. It's just the color. This is going to be safe for sensitive eyes. There's no harsh chemicals like cyanoacrylate, latex, and formal formaldehyde, which are known irritants for a lot of people. So if you're allergic to other lash glues, bond from extensions, this is going to be a great system for you to use. So now I'm going to show you here how I add bond. I'm just going to come in all the way across because I think I'm going to stack like all the way across. So I'm just adding a little bit of bond along the base of my existing lash map. You can do this on your first application, you can do this two, three days later. If you're getting great longevity and you're like, mm, at day five, I'm like, oh, it's the weekend. I want to wear them for another couple days and just add a couple more. You can stack them too. So you can do whatever you like. So good. All right. So I added just a bit of bond. I have bond on my waterline. We don't want that. So I'm going to come in and just I'm just gonna come in and remove that real quick. I don't need that. Even if I got this bond in my eye, it wouldn't really matter. <laughs> it's so gentle. I've gotten it in my eye during a live. I wear contacts and I get zero irritation. Hi Janine, so it's up to you. It's up to you. And on the first few tries, it might take a little bit to get longevity just because this is a new bond, okay? This is a brand new kind of bond. It doesn't harden. It's gonna stay nice and flexible. It won't harden. So you're gonna play with different bonding methods, but once you get it, our, our clients wear their sets for about five to seven days on average. I'm a three to four day wearer if I go for longevity. Some people are daily wearers, some people prefer that, and some people wear them for much longer. So you get to choose. In the beginning, you might you know, do a little bit of experimenting to find what works best for your personal eye chemistry, your lifestyle, and getting to know the system. But once you get it, you can do whatever you like. Great question, thank you. Okay, so the clear, comes out white and then it dries down clear. I have to wait to make sure that this gets tacky, just like when we're working with layers of nail polish. If we come in with a heavy layer of nail polish, it will never dry for us, right? It's gonna stay wet, it's gonna move around, it's gonna get messed up. Same thing with our bonds, work in layers. Thin, very thin layers, all right? So I could apply a light layer here. When I'm stacking, I could also apply 
that bond onto the spines of the gossamers. So I could come in here and just pick up a little bit, apply to where the little part that's holding all the fibers together, that's called the spine. And I need to let that get tacky. So I'm gonna put that down. Let's pull some other gossamers. I'm gonna, probably gonna put like five across, I'm guessing. Let's try one, two, hmm, maybe four. <laughs> We're just gonna build this lash map together. We're just gonna build this together. I'm gonna start with two 14s in plushy chocolate and two 13s. So like 14, 14, 13, 13, and then we'll see what if we need to do anything for that inner corner. Lash wardrobe change, right? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you again. Um, I think this, this bond is already tacky. Check this out. Look how it's like sticking. If you feel that Velcro-like catch, almost like a bubble gum-like stick, you know that bond is tacky. The clear goes clear. That's how, that's a really nice visual cue for knowing when your bond is ready to go. So I'm gonna do a little bit of both, just so you guys can see. You don't have to do both. Some people like to do both, in which case you just use it a little bit. A tiny bit is all you need. When you stack gossamer to gossamer, it really gives a good hold. So coming in, and then once I'm done with this, that first one should be just about ready to go. All right, let's see, let's see. This is so exciting. Has she gone clear? I want her to go faster. It's starting to go clear, so you can also take the blow and give it some directed air to get your layers of bond to dry down a little bit quicker. So when you're layering your bonds, again, 30 to 60 seconds for each uh, layer to get nice and tacky, but I do that tacky test where I kind of just tapped it. I'm looking for a nice bubblegum-like stick. I'm also looking to make sure that that product isn't moving around, that there's no transfer when I tap with my fingernail. That way I know it's nice and ready and you'll see why once we start putting these on. Okay, so this is a plushy 14. Let's grab a mirror. I'm gonna look down into a mirror. I do prefer this method of body mechanics for applying. It just keeps your, your eye in a nice relaxed position. You can see your wet line because it's gonna go underneath the natural lashes and you are still applying one to two millimeters up from the wet line. When you're working with gossamers like these, you can go spine on spine directly one on top of the, the other because they are so flat, super flat. You could go, you could stack on stack on stack and it would be super comfortable still. They're made of Korean PBT silk, so they're super lightweight, incredibly light, like feather light. I can't even feel them. And then I'm coming in with that next 14. And look, see how it's gripping and it's not going anywhere, it's not sliding? That is the benefit of making sure that your bond is tacky before you start applying. Ooh, look at that volume. Just a little bit of volume that we're adding right there. It can make such a difference. Love this. And then you can fuse as you go. You can wait to fuse at the very end. I'm doing a little reverse fuse. I am fusing all the way down at the spines because I, I want to make sure that they're secure at the base. And then let's fluff those out just a smidge. Wow. Look at that. Two gossamers. Two gossamers. Look at the difference, you guys. Okay, before, really pretty. With the brown, you can go, I think you can go a little bit longer because it's so soft in color. And then look, we just stacked two gossamers right here. Oh my gosh. This is the magic, magic of Lashify. We're gonna, we're gonna stack some more. Once you start stacking, you might, you might experience something called the stack attack where you just, you know, you kind of sit back and you check things out and you're like, more. Ooh, this side needs more. Now I need to even out the other side. And then before you, you know, you're like, oh, I was just gonna go for a very natural look. And before you know it, you're like, Vegas time. <laughs> 
I know that's happened to everyone at some point after finding Lashify. Okay, so that was a 13. I think this is looking so good, exactly how I was wanting it to go. Coming in again, one to two millimeters up from the wet line. I already have a really nice guideline to follow because I have my base layer on. Wow, you guys, and it's opening my eye up, right? See how my eye is sitting, it's, it's holding the gossamers out first and then up. I think it might be from fusing, but also when we stack, we get a little bit more volume at the base that, you know, just kind of opens things up. Right, it's still not overly dramatic. It really just adds more plushness to the plushy. Wow, you guys. These are two different people. <laughs> These are two completely different people. We should name this one. I don't know who she is. Wow. They're two different personalities, right? Just by stacking. That is a really, it's a full look, but again, it's still not too much. It looks like I added liner and like smoked it out, right? And my eyes look, this eye looks so open. I'm, I'm kind of, like hyperventilating a little bit. <laughs> Trying not to hyperventilate. Look at that. Let's do a good fuse. So after you get your lashes on, you can fuse as you go. You can fuse at the very end of applying all your lashes if you like, completely up to you. You can use the wandums, you cannot use the wandums. This will give you a nice wider fuse, a little bit cushier, and it'll help reduce stickiness if you have maybe a little bit too much bond or if you're moving just a little bit faster. So either way is fine. Totally up to you. Try it both ways. You'll find what you like. You can reverse fuse just like I was doing and this way you can go in little sections and really get precise all the way down to the spines of the gossamers. And then let's just kind of fluff these out. I like how they look when they're really spread out. See how I'm kind of just like picking at the fibers so that they lay exactly how I like? You can do that too. That one's doing something funny. And we can fix that too by taking a spoolie to it. The other way to fuse is with the wandums on. Again, you can, you can reverse fuse, but I'm gonna show you a full fuse. You can come in and this is gonna follow the curve of your eye. It was designed to fit the curve of your eye and then deliver this horizontal clamp force even all the way across. It won't clip your lashes, it won't cut, it won't pinch. Hold it for about 10 seconds and then slowly release. If you get some stickiness, just slowly blink it away. So good. Lauren on Facebook says she can't live without Lashify. Same, same Lauren. I think once you start using Lashify, you're just like, how did we ever do anything else? I put on mascara the other day because Jill asked me to take some pictures with mascara for a before and after. It was horrendous, horrendous. I wore mascara for like 25 years every day. Never again, never again. Let's do the other side. Are you ready? So same thing, two P14s, two P13s, and you can do whatever you want, right? You, there's all these different styles all these different lengths, so you can really customize every single lash look. The Lashify Life Facebook group is where our community is hanging out. We have, we can do lash mapping sessions in there for you guys. You post a picture of, close-up photo of your eye. We can help you with lash maps to try out. We have more tips and tricks for application. Everything, literally everything that you could possibly want. Any question you need answered, it's probably been answered in there, but we'll answer you again. All right, ready? Other side, I'm gonna come in, add bond along the spines of my gossamers. When I stack, I do add a tiny bit, a little bit higher up, and that allows the stacking gossamers to have something a little bit more to grab onto instead of just at the base, just a little bit. Not too high, right? Because we wanna keep these fibers nice and fluffy. They're really super plush, they're really wispy. Just coming in, adding a little bit along the base and then adding a little bit higher up. Again, we can slowly build up this cushion of bond if you want multiple light layers. And then we're gonna let each one get tacky. So 
So I'm gonna do both. This actually feels good to do just like a very light double bond. Actually, I'm gonna show you that you don't have to double bond. You can do a single layer of bond if you like. Usually a single layer of bond for stacking will suffice. Some people do a, a very light double bond. Completely up to you. There's no, I don't think there's any reason to triple bond when you're stacking. Right, Bev? I, I think most people would agree. Okay, let's get this nice and tacky. I almost started putting them on. They're probably okay. Like if I was rushing, they'd probably be okay. But now they're really tacky. Sometimes just waiting a little bit longer makes all the difference. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna come in with that 14. I gotta turn the mirror towards me so I can see what I'm doing. It doesn't help if it's going this way, right? I think that makes sense. <laughs> okay, coming in, I'm gonna drop this 14 right in here. Nice Velcro catch. And move slowly. When you're doing your first few applications especially, there's no need to rush. This bond will, for the most part, wait for you. It has a really nice long working time. It's very forgiving. I'm gonna fuse as I go. And then, say you put a lash down, you kind of sat back. So let's do that now. And it wasn't quite in the right place. You're like, mm, it's not exactly where I wanted it. Well, that's okay. You come in either from the base, it's easier when you have your base layer, just working on your base layer, but sometimes if you just grab right here from the front, you can easily grab the lashes and try again. So easy, and you don't have to apply more bond as long as you're still getting that nice Velcro catch. Check that out. Awesome. Sometimes I fuse as I go, sometimes I wait till the very end, do what you like. And then we're gonna come in with this 13, making sure, I was just making sure that they are still looking symmetrical. Look at that, so pretty. Just added a little bit of volume. And honestly, it's like adding makeup without using makeup, right? Literally added a smoky liner look at the base just with lashes. So good, don't even have to worry about adding makeup. So let's do a fuse and fluff here. Fuse and fluff. I'm gonna come in with my fuse control wand, give this a nice fuse, and then I can come in with my pre precision lash comb. I'm securing the base and then I'm just kind of fluffing out the fibers so that they separate. Hopefully, we'll see what happens. Pretty. They're gathering just a little bit right here. Hmm. I think I'm just seeing things too. Let's see. We could do a reverse fuse and sometimes I like fluffing backwards from the back to the front. Let's see, let me show you that. From in here and then come from the back to the front and sometimes that does the trick. I think it did the trick. <laughs> So all kinds of fun tips and tricks for getting your lashes to lay how you want them to. Make sure you're joining us in the Lashify Life Facebook group because that's where the magic happens. A lot of people have epiphanies when they're doing their applications, even after using them for years and years. And that's where people go to share their little gems of Lashify knowledge with each other. It's really fun. You guys, my eyes are two, are two different eyes. They're doing a little bit of a different thing here, I'm trying to figure it out. Let's see. I feel like this eye has more volume right here. What do we need to do? Maybe we just need to pinch it. I think that worked. <laughs> so this is where the stack attack could potentially happen for you. You're like, mmm, symmetry. This one's doing this thing over here. This eye's doing something different. You might add like something lighter. Like we, you could use um, the prismatic dark browns and, and those come in A or C, amplify or curl. And those have less fibers, but they're gonna match in color. So you could add another light layer of uh, gossamer 
just to add a bit of volume, like if I wanted to fill in that space, if I was being a real perfectionist about it, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> but you have so much control over your lash looks. Sylvia on YouTube wants to know your base lash map from yesterday. So Sylvia, yesterday we did plushy chocolate in 13 and then 16 all the way across. And then today we stacked plushy 14, plushy chocolate in 14, 14, 13, 13. What a difference four gossamers makes on a lash map. I mean, you saw the progression of that, even just adding two gossamers at the very end added this beautiful soft volume at the outer corners that looks like, like a smoky liner. I'm seeing something else here. I'm doing the Jill where I'm like, mm, let's fix this over here. Mm, now we need to fix this over here. <laughs> so pretty though. Let's take a full tour of the lashes. Check that out. So pretty, look at that. And I love that we don't have to add liner to hide a band because there's no band to hide. Everything is underneath. And it's super comfortable even though I stacked. I have two layers of lashes on, of gossamer lashes on, but it's still very comfortable. They're so thin, they're so lightweight. They're very comfortable. As long as you are placing them correctly and fusing them correctly, you're gonna have a really nice, comfortable wear and a long wear. Love this. And you can really see the chocolate, right? My hair is black. My hair is definitely black and you can see how warm the tone of these fibers are. They're so pretty. Stacked, Sahara was right. Sahara was right, stacked. Uh, chocolate, plushy or plushy tame. I love this. I think that it, it really works, especially if your, your hair is darker, maybe if your skin tone's darker. Bev, I think, also loved them stacked. She was right, it's the way to go. The other thing you could do is take some black gossamers, right? A or C, or if you want something a little bit more dramatic, you can use a more dramatic lash, and that would add a little bit of a darkening effect along the base, especially if you have, again, a dark hair tone, just to kind of pull the look together. So pretty, so pretty! I love this, you guys. I can't wait, I can't wait until you guys get your hands on the plushies in chocolate and plushy tames in chocolate. Some of you have already ordered them as Lashify X members. Start posting, once you get them, please start posting them in the Lashify Life Facebook group. Get excited. If you're waiting, it's okay, don't worry about it. This will be launching so, so soon for you. Make sure you are signed up for texts and emails through Lashify.com so that you know when everything is happening. And actually the Lashify Life Facebook group is the place to be because some, sometimes we we leak the secrets to the Lashifines in that group first. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Join us there. We have over almost 120,000 members in there. So it's really lively, it's really fun. The entire Lashify team is in there. Sahar is in there chatting it up with the community as well. We are also going live if you like these live tutorials. We're going live here almost every day here on Lashify.com, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, inside Lashify Life. So if you wanna come hang out with us, we're always here. You can check out the live schedule on our Instagram page. There's a little highlight bubble for our schedule. So if you wanna put it on your calendar so you always know the tea, you wanna make sure to do that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. Get excited about chocolate plushies and plushy tames because they are coming soon. Enjoy.